Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Thursday, April the 22nd, 2021, and this is episode 3,529. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled Sufficiency. Stay tuned. So I have to tell you this, I had originally planned on doing an episode called Lean On Me. (laughs) Do you remember that song? I was going to tell you the story when I was a pastor and I took a youth group to New York City. We were in front of Rockefeller Center and I had my guitar and we were just out there on the street in New York City singing, Lean On Me. (laughs) But when I was writing out my my notes, and there's minimal notes when I do this, something happened that gave me a new direction. Do you know what happened? This ink pen that I've been using probably for at least a couple of years ran out of ink. If you could look at what I'm looking at right now, Thursday, 422, 2021 looks pretty good. But then as I started writing the episode number and the title, Lean On Me, it ran out of ink. And so what did I do? I tossed it in the trash. I've got another pen now. You know, sometimes we run out of ink, right? I mean, think about it. Second Corinthians Chapter 3 and verse 5 says, Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as being from ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God. My pen may have run out of ink. My pen, Bruce's pen, but our sufficiency is from God. These are difficult days for many. I mean, think about it. Pressed down, weakened, held back. And yet Jesus tells us to strengthen the things that remain. If your strength seems weak, if you feel like you're running out of gas, running out of energy, running out of purpose, running out of inspiration, you're not alone. The Apostle Paul reached a point when his strength had given out and his resources were exhausted. He needed the strength that only God could give him. You see, our own strength is not enough. But if you will take what's left of it and give it to God, who is more than enough, you will find him to be sufficient. Nehemiah looked at the ruined wall of Jerusalem and wept. He took the little bit that the devil had left and rebuilt the wall. Some of you are weeping over what the enemy has stolen from you, weeping your way into depression or anxiety. Instead, you should arise and seize what is left. So what if your joy isn't what it used to be? Use what's left. So what if your power is almost gone? Seize what's left and be who God said you could be. Now I'm going to close. I always look for a, a graphic to use for um, for the podcast episode. And I typed in the word sufficiency in, uh, in, in search. And all it found were pictures with the words self-sufficiency on it. Now what does that tell you? It's all about self-sufficiency. And then I found this one, and this is the graphic for today's episode. It's a quote by Charles Spurgeon, a great preacher, many years ago. He said, self-sufficiency is Satan's net where he catches men like poor silly fish and destroys them. Listen, do you feel like your pens run out of ink? 
lean in <laughs> to God. He is our sufficiency. Oh, Father, thank you for the illustration that you gave me this morning. Because there have been times when I feel like I was running out of gas. But I thank you, Father, that our sufficiency is not of us. It is of you. And you never run out. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Have a great day. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. <laughs>